Welcome to INN CEO Talks. Joining me today is Dr. Howard Verico, the CEO and chair of the board of Serona Biochem, which trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol SBM, on the OTC under the symbol SRBCF, and on the Frankfurt under the symbol ZSB. Serona Biochem is a cosmetic ingredient and drug discovery company with a proprietary platform technology. Serona specializes in stabilizing carbohydrate molecules with a goal of improving efficiency and safety. Serona's compounds are licensed to leading companies around the world in return for licensing fees, milestone fees, and ongoing royalty payments. CEO Howard Verico obtained his medical degree from the University of Toronto in 1985 and has been a member of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of British Columbia since 1986. Dr. Verico is currently a practicing emergency room physician. Dr. Verico, thank you for joining me. You know, briefly thank introduce you. your company to viewers who won't be familiar with Serona Biochem. Yeah. So yeah, I, you did a very good introduction there and most appreciated. So the company was formed in 2009, initially as in a licensing agreement with a, a chemistry company based in Rouen, France, which is just north of Paris. Um, the, the company is founded by a, a very uh, um, a brilliant scientist, Dr. Geraldine Delancourt. She's award-winning in France. She had the entrepreneurial skills to set up a private chemistry company which, which we did a licensing deal in 2009, but we went on several years later to acquire the company. And so now we are a uh, gold biotech company with a headquarters in Vancouver and a research lab in, in Rouen, France. So you are a platform technology and your company has been around for a while now. What have been your biggest successes to date? Well, we've been very fortunate to actually have reached the phase of a clinical trial with a diabetic drug. Um, the trial um, was recently concluded, a uh, phase one for, the, for a new diabetic drug, which we are, which we are developing. Um, our partner there, which licensed the uh, technology, is Wabong Pharmaceuticals. Um, um, and uh, that's been a major achievement for the company. Um, we've also uh, launched a cosmetic uh, ingredient, which is for treatment of dark spots or hyperpigmentation of the skin. Uh, that was deal was made with Rodan and Fields in March of this year, um, and uh, that was following two. Uh, this, well, we have completed two very successful clinical trials uh, um, with this compound, and it's commercially available on the market now. These are this is these are two big achievements for a company in this field. Well, yeah, because you're in, in different areas of science using the same kinds of compounds. One is uh, directed at co cosmetics and the other at, at diabetes. Um, how, uh, you know, I'm going to go a little bit off script here because I'm like anybody, you're going, okay, how do you manage to follow those two streams of research simultaneously? Well, it, it's always, a, it's always a challenge. Our, our scientists come up with the ideas of, uh, um, usually it's based upon existing molecules that have some issues either with uh, potency or toxicity. And we apply our technology to improve those, uh, those molecules, improve their efficiency, uh, improve their, their efficacy, um, um, reduce toxicity, um, and just make a better compound. And in the process, we create new compounds from the existing compound. And these new compounds, we are able to patent and protect and control and, and control and then for subsequently license them um, so the opportunities become up in multiple fields so we're more on the actual technology of improving the molecule so that leads us into the cosmetic space and also into the therapeutic space very different fields um, both have pros and cons the cosmetic is a much shorter path to commercialization the therapeutics is more traditional but very rewarding path so we take advantage of both opportunities so is that what a pipeline technology company is? Because I have to admit, the, the, the terminology is new to me. Well, our scientists um, in France, led by Dr. Geraldine Delancourt, are totally specialized in a very particular type of molecule called carbohydrates. These molecules have tremendous applications, but your body knows how to break down carbohydrates, which are basically sugar molecules. And we use a process of fluorination, which stabilizes the molecules and, and makes, makes them functional and makes them improved. 
Carbohydrate chemistry is um, widespread throughout the cosmetic and the, pharma and the pharmaceutical field, um, and it's met with challenges. Our team is a very specialized chemistry, which is there's only a few people in the world which, which operate in this space. And therefore, we have a very uh, um, uh, unique opportunity to prove a wide range of projects. So on the cosmetic side, I, I know that you've got a product that helps to lighten skin. It's anti-wrinkle. It seems like anti-aging. Can you tell us just a little bit more about that product? Because I think there's a considerable amount of interest in that. Well, the, 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 uh, the uh, skin lightening uh, compound is used to even skin tone. People often have dark spots on their skin or uneven tone. Um, so the, the application of these, this product will um, lighten up the dark spots, even the skin tone. This is an, a massive market. It's an uh, enormous uh, market. The problem is the current products on the market are um, either ineffective or they're effective. They're associated with toxicity. And so we've come up with a molecule which we believe is, a, is an industry leader because it is both safe and effective. And that's we've got clinical trials to document this. And it's, it's, a, it's, an, enormous, it's an enormous breakthrough. Um, a lot of countries uh, use very toxic ingredients. Some people, use, some countries use something like mercury, which is very toxic. Another compound commonly used is still available in North America is a hydroquinone, which has been considered concerned regarding, regarding carcinogenesis. The, and is banned in some places like Europe. So we've, we're bringing a, a, an opportunity for people who have dark spots or uneven skin tone to, to safely treat those and, and, uh, and do so effectively. So are you working with uh, major cosmetic companies now or is this the next stage of development? Well, we actually, have, we actually have taken this project right the way through to commercialization when we signed a licensing deal with a a very large cosmetic company within uh, basically uh, they operate in, in North America, Australia, and Japan. So they've, they've taken a license deal with our compound and commercialized it, and it's currently on sale in in US, Canada, and Australia. So we have commercialized it, but we have further plans yet. We are, they do not have a, a world exclusivity and or, a, or a exclusivity in the general cosmetic space. Um, so we, we conducted further analysis with a large uh, a pharmaceutical company, one of the top 10 globally in the world. And we, we had a very successful clinical trial. Um, they've performed extensive due diligence um, in all, all fields of this, of this compound. And they've completed that now. And they're very pleased with the outcome. And we're entering a phase where we're going to start, start the process of working out a, a licensing deal. And our goal is, is, is in, the, in the next uh, short while is to develop a, a, a global licensing with this partner and, and uh, bring this compound to a, the, the global success that uh, it warrants. Yeah, so that's what you're, uh, what you're moving towards. As far as, um, you know, any other top 10 uh, global companies, that are, are they working with you as well? Because I'm sure that with what you're doing, there must be a considerable amount of interest. Oh, there is a lot of interest and we've, we have, um, uh, we've have lots of other companies that were interested, but we are obviously going to look for the deal that's going to be most rewarding for the shareholders who've been very patient for the very long process of bringing, bringing this project to its, uh, its full uh, commercialization. And, uh, um, you know, we, we, we looked at different options, you know, should we launch it ourselves? Should we form multiple regional partners or should we just, where should we go with a global entity? So this is the, biggest opportunity. It's not the only opportunity, but this opportunity fits our business model. We're a drug discovery company. Uh, we're, we're, we don't have a uh, sales and marketing team and we, we, a licensing deal is a turnkey for us. We, we hand over the project and then we work on our other projects. We build the company doing, doing what we know how to do best. And that is innovating new compounds to, to fit on net needs. Investors are going to be asking, do you have the finances that you need to be able to continue to develop uh, the research that will uh, produce those next products? Yes, yes, we do. Um, we're, well, we're confident we do. We, our last financing was over two years ago. Um, that's our traditional private place, in which we've depended upon for many years. Um, we have uh, uh, a number of warrants which are currently being exercised. Uh, we recently received a tax research uh, credit from the French government for three hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. 
Um, we have a number of uh, opportunities. Um, we are very close, we feel, to a major transaction. And uh, um, right now, we're, we, we feel we have the funding opportunities um, that we need, and we're not currently or do not anticipate the need to do a traditional private placement or traditional financing at this time. So for investors, they're going to be, you know, if they listen to the whole uh, uh, interview that we've had, they're going to be going, okay, this is pretty exciting. But what would you say to them if they say, okay, Howard, like, why now? Why get in, why, why get in uh, with your company? Well, we're, we're, we're a growing company. You can see from our pipeline, if you review our website, you know, we have um, multiple projects underway. This, this current uh, uh, transaction, which we're working on, um, we feel is going to be uh, is going to be a game changer for the company. It's going to give us a, a great boost in their, our financial uh, resources, and uh, our our company is going to continue to grow and build. And it's going to give the people confidence that we we can we can deliver. We've already have one commercial license, and we're anticipating a second, um, and uh, very substantial. And we've already got another project in clinical trials, and we've got more great through, um, breakthrough technology. It's, it's in various stages of development. Um, people, the, the, the pharmaceutical companies, including the one we're currently talking to, are taking note of what of what what we've created, and they're looking at well, what what do you have next? They've already asked us, and we've already started the dialogue. Like, like this is this is really good. We, we, what else do you have you done? Because they, they're they're familiar with the technology. It may sound complicated to your average shareholder, but the, the people we're talking to understand it fully. The technology does sound complicated. When I went to go do research about what you're doing, I went carbohydrate chemistry, fluorine chemistry. I don't even know what these are. And even when I started to read into them, I'm going, I don't understand what they are, but I could, what I could get out of my research is that there's a tremendous benefit, especially in the areas that you're working in. And it sounds like you have more interesting and exciting news ahead of you. So I'm hoping that you'll come back and give us an update in a couple of months. Oh, we'd be, be delighted to. And yeah, we, we anticipate a, a strong news flow. It's a biotech company, so sometimes the investors get a little frustrated. Um, it does take time to, to, to reach these goals, but but uh, um, you know, we, we their 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 patience is is is, is going to be rewarded, in my opinion. And uh, we, we're really looking forward to the future. This it's been an exciting time for Serona and uh, this pipeline. We're really pleased with what we've got coming down in the future. Well, con congratulations on your progress to date, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thank you very much.